Simmers, hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we're going to check out my deck challenge for The Sims. Um, I'm going to head over to my website, wohub.com, and go into deck challenge. Uh, we're going to hit deal, and basically the game will draw a random set of cards with a specific uh, set of challenges. Uh, so I'm going to try whatever they throw at me. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. Hopefully some easy ones for the first episode. There could be some weird ones. I don't know, there's a lot of cards in the deck. Um, anyway, stick around, see if I can beat this challenge. All right, let's go. Let's deal the cards and see what we get. Here we go. All right, okay. Art gallery. That's a good budget, 110,000. Luxury design. Okay, let's go and eat up the budget. Purple rain wants to steal purple. Avoid low tech living. Oh, that's gonna be hard. Modern kitchen, no bedrooms. Build a house without any traditional bedrooms. Okay, that would be hard. In a lush courtyard. All right, let's uh, re-roll a couple of these. What can we get instead of low-tech living? Only one architectural style. Okay, yeah, we could go with that. I'm gonna try and get rid of no bedrooms. reshuffle and go again. Max of five rooms. Okay, that's <laughs> gotta be hard. All right, so a luxurious build that only has five rooms in it. Okay, so unfortunately I lost part of my audio here, um, so I'm just going to dub over the video. Uh, but basically we're just going to have a bit of a speed build now and go through and try and complete all of the challenges on the cards. Um, I'm just going through now and starting to get the layout underway and I'll check back in momentarily um, to see how we're going. All right, so here we have our little courtyard. I did a little seating area, um, good little spot to entertain, a uh, little breakfast bar, some shoddy camera work here, sorry guys. A uh, nice little spot to, you know, chill out in the morning, have your breakfast, or, or you could, yeah, entertain. Uh, anyway, next we're looking at the kitchen.
Uh, okay, so we're back. I don't know something happened with my audio there. And we lost a bit of footage, but we've done our kitchen and our courtyard. And now we're going to do their at-home art gallery. Okay, so I thought I'd keep it fairly simple. Maybe just a few bits and pieces that they've collected over the years. Maybe they've done a bit of traveling. They've got some nice pieces that they like to show off. Um, got a few little areas for them to come in here and just have a little sit and um, relaxed with the, the art. Um, maybe they have more of a collection, but you know, they've got it stored and they change it around sometimes. Anyway, we've got a mini art gallery, mini art gallery. All right, now let's do the rest of the house. Okay, here's our finished house. Let's go through and see if we've managed to complete all of the cards. A reminder, these are the cards that we had. Um, all right, so... First card was Art Gallery. I think, I think we got that one. Like, it's definitely a small gallery, but it's an art gallery. Um, yeah, definitely hits the vibes. We came in under budget. We have 17,000 simoleons left over. Um, I did go through and add a few extra bits and pieces to try and use up a bit more of that, but um, I think we're at a pretty good place here. Um, I don't know, does this hit the luxurious design for you guys? I mean, it's modern, so I feel like for some people this would be luxe. It's not over the top. Uh, we did stick to the five room max in a sort of a cheaty way there are some rooms that um, don't have any doors like the laundry and the art gallery that's how we got around that five five rooms max is hard um, but we did manage to get the bedroom which we just seen uh, this is a spare bedroom you know in case they have people staying over or grandkids come over um, I'm sort of imagining you know being retirees they Perhaps retired fairly young, but they would have had, they have lived a fair bit of life. They've got, they've collected a few bits and pieces over their travels and years. Um, so whilst trying to keep the house sort of minimalistic and modern, I also added a few touches of that. Um, use only one star. Well, I tried to keep it sort of the same theme throughout. Um, although there's, there's sort of different bits and pieces that reflect the, the personalities of the people that would live here. Um, I think we definitely got the modern kitchen in. It's a massive kitchen, everything you could need for, you know, entertaining and cooking on the daily. Got a lovely butler's pantry here. 
I'm hitting the dishwasher and the bin and everything in there. Um, over here, I moved some of the rugs around a bit because it was just getting a bit much. <laughs> I tend to like find a blank spot and like needs a rug, needs a rug. Do you guys do that? <laughs> Ends up with rugs everywhere. Uh, we split this part over here and I've got a little reading nook. Um, I don't, it, like it is giving sort of empty nesters vibes. I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, it's kind of like, well, I guess there's no evidence of children have lived here. I'm imagining that the couple retired and their kids moved out and then they built this house brand new. Uh, if we go into here, we've got a little laundry. This is our main bathroom. Both the bathrooms are pretty much the same in style. Got all your necessities in there. Um, lovely big living room here. Great for entertaining or chilling out. And then heading into the courtyard. This is our, well, my version of a lush courtyard. Got some, a spot to sit. I put a little speaker out there so I could listen to some tunes. Your little candles. Nice little breakfast bar here. It'd be lovely to sit here of a morning or of an evening uh, by the barbecue and then because we had some a lot of money left over I thought you know what they need I need to sneak in a little spa because you know they'd be doing spas for sure <laughs> um, but yeah that's it what do you guys think did we um, achieve all the cards um, what would you have done differently um, and Make sure you check out the card challenge yourself. I'll put the link up on the screen and in the description. You can check it out on my website, wohub.com. It is called Deck Challenge Build Mode. Um, and as we can see here, my overall score, if I could say I complete all these cards, would be 410 on the difficulty of, like overall difficulty of hard. And our rarity was epic, which basically means like the rarity of the cards that were dealt. Um, there's certain cards that are dealt more than others. Um, and the more rare they are, the higher degree of like rarity they have. So an epic card doesn't come up very often. Um, anyway, let me know what you think. The house will be up on the gallery. Um, if you search hashtag deck challenge. Um, and I'll also pop a link to it in the description. And I usually, I'll, I'll try and post it on my Twitter as well. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Um, and I will see you in the next one.